Hey there, basic witches, Kale here, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my five ingredient vegan macaroni and cheese recipe, and I think you guys are really gonna like this. Before we jump in, I just want to say that I have tried multiple, 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 multiple vegan macaroni and cheese recipes. I've tried an all like veggie styled one, I've tried cashew cream sauces, I have tried every box variety I could get my hands on, which there are quite a few on the market now, and honestly, this is the one to me that like if you are looking for that classic macaroni and cheese like comfort food level this is like you're done this is the last one you will ever need I really do believe that I have been a vegan for coming up on two years this year macaroni and cheese was my favorite food before going vegan and this to me is just as good if not better than what I remember from before so anyways I hope you guys will give this recipe a try and let's uh, jump in so what you're gonna need for this recipe is a pound of your favorite short noodle pasta. You could do this with any kind of noodle you want. Like if you want like spaghetti macaroni and cheese, go for it. Uh, that's totally, totally up to you. But uh, yeah, any kind of noodle is gonna work. You can use macaroni noodles. I had penne on hand, so that's what I used. You want a whole pound. This feeds my husband and myself for dinner and then lunch the next day for both of us. You could probably stretch this to feed six people, but we like pasta. We, we don't have a shortage of any of that around our house. You're also going to need three fourths of a cup of almond cashew milk. You could also just get straight cashew milk and I bet this would be great too. I really find that the additive of the cashew in this recipe, it just makes it that much more creamy. So trust me on that one. You're also going to want two tablespoons of vegan butter, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one cup of go veggie cheese. This is a vegan cheese and this cheese in my experience is the only one that works with this recipe. So if you have any others, definitely leave them in the comment section down below if you try this with something else and it works. This one to me, it tastes the best, it melts the best and honestly, this this was I think what really sold me on this mac and cheese is this particular brand of cheese. I get it at my local Walmart, that's who I know sells it, but definitely check around and see what you can find. Uh, you're also, if you want to add this, you can add in adobo seasoning. You can get this in usually the international aisle of your grocer, at least if you're in the US. I know a lot of places carry it in the like Hispanic section. And then also pepper to taste. So um, you don't need those last two things, but it's like if you want to put them in there, you can. It's delicious. So like do it. The first thing you're going to want to do is boil your pasta and cook it to package directions. And once you have done that, you're just going to drain that, set it aside. And now in that same pan, you're going to drop the vegan butter, the cashew almond milk, the nutritional yeast, the cheese, and the seasonings if you decide to use them. And then you're just going to whisk this together on, I would say like a medium high heat because you want this to come to a really nice bubble because it's going to thicken as that cheese melts into the milk and then once that's done all you're gonna do is pour the noodles right back into that same pan stir it up and serve so as I've said this serves me and my husband for dinner and then lunch the next day so we split it into four servings but you could definitely stretch this into six if you really wanted to but we really like pasta in this house so it doesn't go that far but um Guys, let me know, please, if you want a healthier version of this recipe. This is kind of like my naughty vegan recipe, which to me is the one that I like the most. But I do have a healthier version of mac and cheese that I use veg vegetables to make the sauce. It's definitely a lot different. Definitely does not taste as like macaroni and cheese as this does. But I do have another one. So let me know if you want that recipe too. And then if you guys make them, you can compare them and tell me which one you like more as well. So um, I will put a poll, but also let me know in the comment section. And you guys, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. I am at Cozy Kale. I have my secondary gaming channel that's called Cozy Coffee. That will be linked down below. I also run a podcast with my in real life twin flame about social justice and self-development and uh, that will be linked. It's on 10 platforms. It's amazing. I love recording with her. She is a queen. And uh, I also have, of course, CozyKale.com where you can find a lot of these recipes. I will be listing this one there as well. And as soon as it's ready, there will be a link down below for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy 
enjoyed this video, please let me know if you make this. I really hope you do. And especially if you try a different kind of cheese, I really, really, really want your guys' input on this. So um, yeah, that is going to be it for me, you guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, you're also going to need three fourths of a cup of cashew. <laughs> um, to me, this one tastes the best. It melts. It tastes the best. It melts. It <clears throat> cool.